It makes your hair weird and the girl left me in for hours. That alone is scary. If you see next to my dough, I'm sure they'll leave me too. Sometimes they can leave you under there. Yeah, I didn't get left no, under. I didn't get left under at all. In fact, oh, I should have been, been left under longer. And then it fades and it's kind of, it's like deep. Unless I, I, unless the only way, unless I buy yes. that purple shampoo from them, and, and the only that's way I can your hair. I, I actually had to stop using that. It actually was getting really rough in my hair. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just. It's like, it started scaring me a little bit. Like, yeah. it started like, getting it, the texture and that, I literally think the best texture up somewhat. So I was using it a lot. everyone we're back and what a beautiful thrifty Thursday we had and I'm sitting in my pantry because today I'm spending the whole day reorganizing it I am organizing everything in my home and there's so many videos coming out and I hope to inspire you but today what did I get at my thrifty Thursday so let's see so the first thing I got for 20 cents each and these are placemats but they're made out of plastic so I'm going to use these for outside so many times I love having placemats on my porch I like having placemats on my picnic table but you know they get wet and they get soggy but this is plastic and so they won't get so wet and when they do get wet they'll dry really easy so I got these for one dollar I got this I thought it was beautiful then I am so ready for spring and a little bit of spring inside my house won't hurt. I did a whole bunch of decluttering. I'm really excited about sharing, showing you all those photos. But isn't this, isn't this beautiful for one dollar? just thought it's neat. I don't know how they made it, but I think it would be neat to make a project like this. Then I got this. She was one dollar and she's going with the other one that is in my display of my antique children's toys. Now, the one I got, I put in my china closet because it really didn't go. But this is just precious. So now we have two and now I'm done. So I'm going to have one on each side and I'll show you at the end of this video where I place her. So for one dollar, she's another one that looks old. and She looks like she's from Holland. 
it looks like one of those dolls that they had to different countries but she goes with my set as you know I've moved my set into the bedroom so we're gonna place her when we're finished and I hope these work for one dollar I got these calligraphy pens I used to love making calligraphy and making calligraphy signs and I'm really going back into that so I'm hoping that they work they look really really old for 15 cents I got this glass jar the shape of a bear and I have some herbs that I want to put in it so I'm really excited about this I thought it was unique and different I'm all about being different and having different things and I don't know what originally was in it but I loved it and for 15 cents you can't go wrong and then for one dollar and it was half off I got this and this is what you store garlic in and um, we always have garlic here at the home and I never know where to put it but you're supposed to put your garlic in here and it's supposed to keep it uh, fresher a lot longer so 50 cents I got this and then for two dollars I got this bread pan let me tell you I really got into baking my breads in clay it bakes so much nicer you don't have a burnt crust it comes out really easy the clay baking pans are the way to go I'm starting to get into clay everything clay so I'm kinda of getting out of the glass and I surely don't have aluminum but I love this I love the clay and for two dollars I thought that was not a bad deal it's like new so this is how I'm going to be baking my breads. So everyone, that was it for my Thrifty Thursday. And now I'm going to show you where we put everything. Because I think you guys like seeing, after I buy an item, do I just throw it into a drawer somewhere? No, I use everything. Somebody asked me last week, what in the world do I do with everything? Well, I use it and I enjoy it. And so I enjoy the things. I have a mindset where it's going to go. And I just love having it. And every once in a while, if I do get an item and it loses its purpose, then I donate it back to the thrift store because then they can make double money on their items. And so I always have a bag sitting at my counter. And every time I see something that I don't have a use for it anymore, that goes in that bag and that goes right back to the thrift store, which all of the proceeds go to MCC Mennonite Central Committee and all of the proceeds go towards helping feeding the hungry, helping people in war-torn countries, helping people rebuild after storms. And so it goes back to the back to the people that need it the most. And that's why I only support MCC. A few times in the last years I've been at different places like Goodwill and Salvation Army. I do enjoy Salvation Army. It's just the prices are a lot higher than what I'm used to. Goodwill, I really don't find much anymore, and I don't go there anymore. But the MCC, the Mennonite Central Committee, I love their stores, and I will always support them as long as they're around. So let's bring a little springtime, a little happiness, and let's get putting everything where they belong. All right, now she's in place. All right, and there's our flowers. Perfect. Just to add a little bit of color to my kitchen when I'm washing all those dishes. And there's where I'm going to keep my garlic. Easy for reaching. And there's where I'm going to have my garlic. Perfect. Once again, it's time for Fanny's Diary. And we are on February the 13th, 1944. Fanny writes, This morning, Marion and I started out for Lancaster. But the roads were so icy, we couldn't make it up Chickie's Hill. So we had to turn around and come back home. Once every two weeks, Fanny and Marion would head to Lancaster to do a little bit of shopping. Lancaster is approximately 30 miles from our home. In those days, 
driving 30 miles, that was newsworthy. So she would put it in her diary. It was something special. It's amazing how we take for granted nowadays what people thought was really extra special in those days. And I find it fascinating the things that Fanny decided to write in her diary. Hey, if you like these Thrifty Thursday videos and you see my videos and wonder where the items come from, go ahead and click on one of my playlists. It's right here. It's right below me. Do you see it? Click on that and you get to see all the things that I've gotten and you get to watch them in my future videos. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.